During my animation body mechanic experiments, I have implemented and demonstrated the use of multiple principles of animation. Firstly, timing is used in both the jump animation and final walk cycle to establish the speed and pace of the action. This is done by using reference material to ensure the extreme pose keyframes are correctly spaced apart on the timeline to match realistic movement and physics. Ease in and ease out played a key role alongside the use of arcing movements to correct timing within the breakup frames, evident in the jumping action as well as lifting and movement of the feet in the walk cycle. Squash and stretch played a vital role in both animations despite their significantly different uses depending on the situation. In the jump animation, stretching of the upper body and legs is used to simulate motion blur similar to a film camera to make the action smooth. In the walk cycle animation, squash and stretch is used to mimic the anatomy of a human body in motion, in particularly the rising collapse of the stomach and chest and shoulders. The creation of anticipation is used in both animations, while more predominantly in the jump exercise. By compressing the body down and extending the arms back, kinetic energy is stored up creating an expectation for it to be released in the form of a jump up. During the walk cycle, anticipation is reflected on a much smaller scale through the hips rising and falling. When the weight distributes and the hips rise, it creates anticipation that the rest of the upper body is going to follow motion. And by adding a delay to the matching movement of the rising shoulders and chest, it adds a sense of natural elasticity to the body. Both exaggeration and moving holds are minor principles that have a massive effect on creating a lifelike illusion. Moving holds are used in an idle animation to hide the robotic nature of the rig, adding minor movements such as breathing to emulate life. Exaggeration is used during the action process to emphasize movements to add energy and further enhance the appeal. Finally, dragging is used in both animations, but most noticeably in the walk cycle with the movement of the arms and legs. When animating the legs, the knees direct the movement and direction of the skeleton, while the foot and the toes drag and follow to create an ease between the movement of the arc. This principle is also illustrated in the movement of the arms, in particularly the shoulders, and how their elbows and wrists drag to follow.